let's go back to that first convention you were talking about. And from your work and, and Tokinawa and Weber and Liege's work on, uh, con in conventions, and I'm sure you're doing a lot of, you might not have called it networking, but you are networking and you're meeting all sorts of people and mm. the, the industry picks up on this. The publishers uh, pick up on this. There's some interaction there and that leads to you working on uh, commercial releases uh, mm. for Leiji Matsumoto's work. And can you just tell me how you go from first convention to helping create special features and working on these DVDs. So very simple. For this first convention, as I mentioned, we had this uh, booth uh, advertising uh, uh, Captain Arlock, Leji Matsumoto fans. And uh, so some guys uh, just uh, popped in saying, hey, hi, uh, we have this project. We want to publish collector edition of some uh, uh, Matsumoto animes. Would you help us? Okay, why not? <laughs> we'll discuss that uh, later. Uh, but uh, did, did you refer to them as these guys? I mean, what what organization were they from? I mean, uh, I, I, on that uh, very moment, uh, we thought it was some kind of not a joke but you know yeah. sometimes one says things and it never happens that happens so, a lot in publishing legitimately yeah. so yeah it happens a lot more when you factor in randoms yeah i never met these people before i'm sure they weren't like tokinawa members or anything they weren't no before. just guy you know in the alley and and they came to the booth and said you know they had their speech ready and said that and we exchange emails and that's it uh, we never thought we there would be a uh, something uh, like a contact uh, following that and and it was uh, it was quite fast because uh, one month later maybe they did contact us and they they showed us that their project was serious and so uh, that's the first uh, so we were in uh, 2003 and uh, and that's the first uh, collector edition uh, from Ka Kazi. Kazi means wind in Japanese, and that was their uh, logo. So it consisted in um, uh, contributing through a booklet for a collector DVD edition, and uh, also for uh, some video interviews. Uh, around the uh, anime which was uh, about to be published by, by this company. So, Kaze. Is that is Kaze? Kaze? Yeah. Kaze. So this is... Uh, For Gun Kaze. Frontier specifically, right? For Gun Frontier. The first one was yes. Gun Frontier. And instead of uh, small edition, normal edition, so this one, uh, of course, was... Uh, uh, at the benefit of this uh, booklet. And the artwork for that is so beautiful. I just posted uh, a lot of artwork from that book uh, the other day, and it got a great response. I did not expect it to, because this is such a divisive series, I think. not It's not as universally loved as Harlock, uh, or, or Captain Harlock, traditionally, right? Yeah, but it's part of the roots of the character. Yes, 1972 manga turned into an anime yep. way and later. That was the uh, collector edition. So you worked on interviews for this, and you were interviewing just people in the community? No, we were interviewed as a uh, You were interviewed, fan. okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, your community was interviewed by them, okay. And yep. then the, uh, the booklets... What yes. exactly is in the the booklet? Like, are these essays? Are these? Oh, there are ma many parts on this one. Uh, yeah, mainly essays. A few episode summaries, of course, because you can't make a booklet uh, booklet with those uh, those summaries. And uh, mm -hmm. other thing is like uh, art, uh, but this this is not from us. This this is uh, material that the editor did have. Uh, Was there? And this, 
this may be a very American question of me, but did they give anything in exchange? I mean, what was the deal you guys worked out for this? Because this, this to me, I'm not sure if this happens all the time in anime DVD releases where fan communities are reached out to to actually generate the content. Tell me what you're comfortable telling me. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, every participant uh, ha- received one of those for free. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it, it was nice because uh, we would have uh, uh, rushed to the shop and, and buy one. Yeah. When did <laughs> so, this come out again? Uh, this was 2003, but in uh, August. So we are one month. Uh, uh, maybe it came out a little bit later, but we recorded the video bonuses in August. Okay. So we are a few months. It's still the same year we created uh, the Tokinawa forum and, and yeah. the web ring and, and that's it. That's the first real stuff that, like? which came out of our uh, group. What is I that, mean, like a five, six DVD set or something like that? Yes, there are, uh, let me count them. <laughs> but I can only imagine what that was going for in 2003. Yeah, it's it's free DVD for the anime plus one bonus DVD. Okay. Yeah, I mean, these sets were very expensive back in 2003 from what i understand so yes plus there were there was the normal edition like uh, uh, nothing else than the dv anime dvds and the those collector editions uh, which yeah. were of course uh, more expensive but beautiful editions absolutely gorgeous yes and they are very happy with what we do so yeah. same year <laughs> They ask us to help them with another one. Well, it's like the Star Wars logo with that. <laughs> I've never is that the logo they used for year Oh that that's Cosmo Warrior Zero. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't recognize that looks that's not how that cover is not how any other Cosmo Warrior Zero Zero thing has looked. No, they wanted to, it to be a very different uh so uh, people could uh, could see that the uh, limited edition uh, collector. So those were more interviews and so again, or essays. Uh, or same thing. Uh, lots of uh, text into a booklet, uh, essays, uh, episode summaries, and so on. And again, we were lucky enough to uh, participate to the uh, video interviews. So it's really a beautiful uh, collector. Very nice. (laughs) And I'm assuming neither of these things were ever released in the West. These were just specifically French collector's yep. edition. Le- Those ones are... Integral? Is that in my pronunciation? Yeah, integral uh, uh, is complete edition. So it's like uh, you don't have to buy uh, uh, individually uh, all the DVDs. You can buy all of them in the collector box. We thought 2003 had been a successful year. Uh, another editor saw that we did for uh, Kazi and uh, they asked us to contribute to their own DVD release of a very famous uh, work of uh, Matsumoto, but not alone, Matsumoto and the Daft Punk. So that's the Interstellar uh, uh, 5555 DVD edition. And so uh, for this one, uh, our contribution was not with the collector DVD itself. Uh, it was rather to uh, uh, help them organize uh, a big uh, online game. So they made this dedicated website and uh, the players could do uh, all, all kind of uh, 
uh, actions uh, and that would uh, get them points, and with those points, they would get uh, gifts. Uh, oh, okay. So they were sort of like company or, or sort of like rewards points, sort of, through Ka Is this through yes. Kaze again? Uh, no, not at all. It, it's not Kaze. It's, so this, uh, is a, you, you, uh, this is a different publisher that got yeah, in touch with you? It's Emmy Music, but uh, EMI. Okay, so that's sounds Virgin. like... Yeah, yeah, the record label put it out. Yeah. So Wow, so some record label executive. <laughs> or some or, guy or somewhere. Some guy, <laughs> yeah, not probably not the executive, but somebody along the way at the record company, you know, got one of the Kaze DVDs, I'm assuming. Yep. Or Daft Punk themselves Maybe. own <laughs> the the Gun Frontier and Cosmo Warrior Zero, which means they kept up on their Luigi Matsumoto stuff over the years. Now I have to go now I have to see how deep the rabbit hole goes really on that <laughs> one. Like who who got in touch? How'd that work out? So maybe I'll have to tweet Daft Punk. I doubt they tweet. Um <laughs> But, but maybe maybe it was through Casey or or some guys who work at Casey. Uh, I don't Perhaps, remember. Exactly. It's not you know I don't I don't imagine the guys of Virgin being like big weebs. But that's that's really fascinating that you know word word gets around I suppose in the publishing industry for sure. And you guys did such a fantastic job. What's the next uh, commercial thing that you're working on? After 2003, it was 2004. So we started the year with uh, that one. Submarine Super 99? Or yep. Super we, Super? We've... I'm not sure how it's westernized, but... Submarine Super 99 with KZ again. So this time it was uh, only for the booklet, but it was a, a very nice booklet. Uh, with uh, the same kind of uh, contribution like the other booklets. And I wish I could speak more about that. I, I think you gave me some resources to check to check out that uh, anime because the West has been totally starved of any uh, submarine content from uh, Luigi Matsumoto, manga or otherwise. So 2004 uh, was also a successful year for meetings and gatherings with our community. But uh, the next uh, project was only in 2005, which was the release of the uh, Galaxy Express 999 movie. And for this one, it's, it was a little bit different. On top of the booklet, we had to do uh, a bonus audio bonus track uh, so we went to a studio where they displayed the, the movie and uh, some fans were uh, discussing together. Fan commentary. Fan commentary, yes. Wow. First and only time I, I, I saw something like that. Yeah. It was, it was an amusing experience, of course. That's uh, amazing. I mean, that's why these commercial releases you guys worked on is so... It seems so unique to me because no other anime fan community that i know of has worked this closely i mean you think of some something like yes please continue to show it off while i ramble here but you think of something like dragon ball z who they've had release after release after release and and they so rarely get it right and you hear the fans just talking about this some of the bigger youtubers about dragon ball z talking about this and they I just think to myself, why isn't Funimation just hiring these people to do it, to man it? They probably have the technical skills, the creative skills to do all of it. I mean, they just outsource it because whatever whoever's doing it in-house is not doing it service. And whoever's idea it was to reach out to the fan community for Liege Matsumoto has a good head on their shoulders to know, hey, let's get the experts here. You know, because obviously... You know, publishers aren't the experts of what they publish, unfortunately. I mean, that's they can never be as passionate of it as work for them. But you guys put so much passion into these releases. So that was 2005 you did that. Was that your yeah. only project in 2005? No, no, no. 2005, we also contributed to this beautiful collector edition of uh, Space Symphony Metal. Yes. And I've still yet to see this. Uh, one either so 
the art looks beautiful for it. And, and what were your contributions for that one? So we stayed again on, on this one, uh, on um, the booklet. So all the text for the booklet with uh, essays. And uh, it was nice to to be able to, to see the uh, sub-episode before every everyone else and uh, to contribute to the uh, to the texts so it was really great I, I really love the artwork on this one yes it's beautiful yeah i posted some some work from that recently and it got a, a wonderful response much much more than i was thinking it would get so <laughs> just because it's not one of the more popular you know english releases but uh yeah fantastic so was was that 2005? No, no, 2005. You also have this one. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Captain so Airlock <laughs> and Lester D say, yes, this is like, this is a huge uh, collector edition. And um, a bit unwieldy, it seems. <laughs> it's not a usual. Uh, okay. Like a they, they made all, all this uh, oh, okay. great yeah. uh, cards. You didn't just put those right on your wall, I guess. You're you're you're, <laughs> you're a little bit of a collector. I say they all look pristine. It's beautiful stuff. Oh okay. uh, yeah. And I posted those recently, not knowing exactly where they were from, and I, I okay. thought they were all just covers, but I yeah, they big beautiful ones, eight and a half uh, by elevens. That's great. They also um, it con the box contains the Captain Airlock uh, and Les Odyssey, uh, uh, so complete. Uh, set oh wow they went all out for this one there was this <laughs> bonus uh, dvd uh, we we did not contribute to any of this but but this edition is so cool and look at the thickness Ooh. thick with two of it, and this is only artwork oh wow just artwork all this Beautiful. is artwork, artwork, hundreds of pages of yes. artwork. So, but, so what was our contribution to this one? If it's not, yeah. uh, <laughs> so we made the um, official website uh, for this one, and I sent you the link. Uh, yes, I will show some of that. You worked on the website, and yeah, but of course, please, another, be, uh, it it's the. Old uh, way of making websites. So it's HTML a 2000 and, yes. <laughs> 2005 website, not something as uh, uh, efficient uh, that uh, we see it today. It was like uh, uh, you, you had to code the website in uh, Notepad. <laughs> yeah, not, not as much CSS uh, flourish and uh, mm, no. yeah, a little, little bit old school, but it, it's still <laughs> admirable and you also worked on, did you guys work on the, the Flash game that was on there? So one of the, the contributors uh, provided this Flash game where you have to uh, land the, uh, the green Arcadia. Uh, and so you have a, a few keys to press in order to have it land uh, correctly. Lunar Lander. The kind of lunar lander yeah, uh, like with a Matsumoto yeah. Harlock feather. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, that's a great concept in and of itself. These amazing contributions. So, was that the last major co commercial release that you guys worked on? Uh, no, in 2006, we also had a shot. Sorry. <laughs> How many more are there? Wow. Okay. <laughs> no, not, not, not that many. Yes, so the Galaxy the Railways. Galaxy Railways. Uh, we we uh, contributed to texts and, and booklets and I mean usual stuff. <laughs> I won't do it two hundred times. How many more of these do you got? Wow! I mean, this is two thousand and six. We had this weird. <laughs> yeah. So Alex Saga, same same thing. Text and booklet yes. for uh, Alex Saga. You know the Wagnerian uh, uh, Nibelungen story of uh, Arlok. Yes. Are these all through Kaze still? No, this is... So you guys are through the uh, So this line, one was... Uh, Declic uh, is not Kaze. It's a competitor. Mm -hmm. 
And this one was uh, bees, but the logo is very small. Bees. Yeah, then it slowed down, fortunately, and it's only 2008 where uh, we could contribute to the uh, complete edition of uh, uh, SSX, so yeah. series plus movie in, in this box. Yes. Is so, that Arcadia My Youth that's in there? Or yeah, there the movie, the okay. movie is Arcadia of My Youth, and it was the first edition with the complete uncensored movie uh, in France. Yes. So be beautifully restored, very nice edition. Mm. Nice booklet also. <laughs> yeah. And uh, our last uh, contribution was uh, 2012 uh, with uh, Toei. And I mentioned Toei earlier, and it was uh, the re release of the uh, uh, Space Pirate Captain Airlock. And for that, uh, we contributed through another website. Hopefully we can sh you know, show off just how beautiful everything is and how monumental and how prolific you guys have been. I mean, pages and pages, lots of writing, just tons of awesome writing. You're writing books just for, you know, for Leiji Matsumoto's private collection. And, uh, and then all these beautiful booklets and websites, uh, which are copyrighted under writing. So that, that's all incredible stuff. So again, historians, thank you so much for you and everybody else. Hopefully, uh, this is not the first interview that I'll be doing uh, with members of Toki Nawa and Webring Lieji because you guys seem to be, if, if you want to get close to Lieji Matsumoto's work, I mean, you're the person to speak with now. I mean, people might be going to you saying, wow, who's, <laughs> can I get some more details on this? It's, it's all very incredible. So, so you worked on all these commercial releases, and it all started with one convention and yep. just talking to somebody. And, and you guys have worked on many conventions uh, it, from 2003, correct? Yes, uh, so we carry on uh, conventions once or twice a year, and uh, each time we try to improve uh, the different things that we can show to the visitors and uh, try to build uh, nice displays with uh, great goodies, and I'm sure you will uh, have uh, in the future uh, some fans showing uh, a few of their goodies and the kind of display we we have uh, in those conventions and also uh, conventions uh, drag a lot of uh, uh, guests and Japanese guests and so some of them uh, were involved in uh, uh, Matsumoto's project in the past and so we can also uh, have, uh, you know discuss with them and uh, learn a lot of things uh, uh, about uh, how it was to work on that anime or that other anime at that time. So it's really, really cool. Uh, plus it allows uh, the fans to, uh, from the Tokinawa to, to meet together and gather uh, once or twice a year. And this uh, has been ongoing since 2003, which is uh, uh, very nice. 